Hi everyone, I recently have the question on how could um, someone check how many repeating section rows have been used and perhaps use that in a rule. So let me just go and create a repeating section and I will put um, an email control in here for instance, email will do, and I'll just call that email. So I've got our repeating section and uh, it's just got one control in it. So when you click on it, it shows a bunch of email. So we come back to here and what I might do is put a label on here and I might say the number of rows is greater than five or something like that. Now, um, let's just keep it there for the moment. So what we're gonna do is set the visibility to no for the moment. And what we could do is we go to a rule and we could say, um show the label if rows is greater than five so then we want to go into here and say insert and i want to put a formula in here so i would say um count and what i can do is count the repeating section uh, rows by counting one of the controls inside the repeating section so if i go repeating section which is an object and then i'll uh, select the email so as you can see it's an array or a collection. So it's a, a collection or array of emails. So really I'm just gonna count the number of emails. So go insert and then I'll say if it's greater uh, than or equal to five, then the label is shown visible. It's yes, otherwise label visible is no. Okay, so let's go to preview. So we can't see the label yet. Add row, add row, add row, add row. There we go, so now it shows up. So that's a really simple thing you could do. Um, now what we could probably also do is you could also say, um, we could actually make that, um, we could make that dynamic if we wanted to. Um, so let's say, uh, let's go rules, and let's create a variable. I had to think about that for a moment. Uh, how many uh, rows do I have? So I'd say um, account, Repeating section dot email email and yeah so that's pretty much it so we could really reuse that variable where in our rules so I'll just create this as a decimal for the moment um, so we would go and create that we go back to our rule we could say well it doesn't really matter here oh sorry here we could just go and insert our variable now that we've got one so we're going to insert that one and go update but then also what we can do on our label is come to our label and also say is greater than five um, it is currently um, now x rows so we go insert how many rows do I have um, space rows so you need a space let's just get rid of that okay so now we come back to here email one two three four um, Okay, I did need a space. The, the number of rows is greater than five, uh, six, seven, so on and so forth. So really all it's doing is counting the controls inside the row, not necessarily the rows itself, but you get the idea. And so if I really wanted to be pedantic, um, I just put a space in here, and you probably put the label above and make it a bit easier to read, maybe. So you come to here, one, two, three, four, go, five, six and six and say well it's greater than five and it's rows and now num um, now six so that's pretty much it that's how you can do it um we are going to add more functionality to the repeating section row calculations and those sort of things at a later date so um this is just a, a quick thing that you could do if you needed to, to say something like um well we know they've got five submissions and that's fine um in the repeating section you can also limit how many rows they have so you can say maximum number of rows is six or something like that but this is more around counting as well so you might do some calculations hope that's helpful to you let me know in the comments cheers